What's going on everyone? Dell Jr. 2 back here with another video. Last video we did MLB The Show 17. This video we're going to do 18. So in 18 for the first time there were these cards called Immortals and they were 99 overall. So the only two that I got here as you can see is Ted Williams and then also the legend himself Mike Trout. Everyone else, I didn't really come close to. In this year's game, it was really strange how it was set up. So there were career arcs. So just as an example, with Babe Ruth, it says Billy Williams program souvenir, Albert Bell program souvenir. So you had to complete those. So just as an example for Albert Bell, you had to complete this Daniel Nava program souvenir, Matt Joyce program souvenir, Adam Lynn program souvenir, Trumbo, the Melky Cabrera program souvenir. In one game, you had to have one homer, one run, and one RBI. And then this one I didn't unlock, but there's still two more there, and then left fielder stats with silver, bronze, or common players, and then left fielder stats either either diamond or gold players, right fielder stats silver, bronze, or common. But like as you can see, there's a whole bunch of missions, and just as an example, you see how it says Mark Trumbo program souvenir. So I have not done that yet, but if you go over to right field you see Trumbo here so I'm at 80% so I got the Orioles extra base hits exchange Orioles souvenirs and also exchange right fielders so all I needed was 20 hits 10 extra base hits 7 homers and 13 RBIs but there's a whole bunch of these so for me at least it was really hard to get these done and so basically what you had to do was complete Trumbo just to unlock a part of this bell card because as you can see it's Daniel Nava, Matt Joyce, Lynn, Trumbo, Cabrera and then there's still those stats like so there was a lot that you had to do just to unlock this one card and then just as an example, Albert Bell matched up to Babe Ruth. So if you unlock Billy Williams and Albert Bell and then did these missions, which is a question mark, so I'm not sure what it is. But so there was a lot. I strongly dislike this whole jersey exchange, hat exchange. Um, there were also bobbleheads. I so if I go to inventory and then souvenirs, there were like different people's baseball, so like autographs, bobbleheads, apparel. So just as an example, this Mookie Betts one costs 4,500 stubs. So um, that's to get the immortal. So I feel like you really had to spend a lot of stubs on these bobbleheads and autographs so the, that's why I didn't really like it and as you can see in this game I finished silver 88 whereas in 17 I finished diamond level 100 and similar and similar to 17 they had a ticket counter so I unfortunately never unlocked this Yogi Bear card but that is something I kind of wanted to do this is the first year where stats went up to 125 so just as an example his vision is maxed out that contact versus both righties and lefties is extremely good but I didn't really play this game as much as 17 18 19 or 20 that's the big difference between 18 and 20 is these immortals there were player of the month awards just like in 17 and they still have them to this day so I didn't complete any of them but 
I did complete the postseason program. So I did like these postseason missions because I feel like it was relatively straightforward. So just as an example, that says 9K night. So I probably had to get nine strikeouts. This says 3K save. So probably three strikeouts in a game. So like they were pretty straightforward. And then you unlock these cards. So just as an example, I started out with Cole Hamels, and then if I did Cole Hamels' mission, I got this Lou card all the way up to the Steve Pierce card. And to this day, there's a flashback Steve Pierce in MLB The Show 20. And then also, there were these timed ones, so just as an example for March. Okay, it looks like I actually can't see it anymore, but just as an example for December, um, it says free f finest flashback hitting stats, pitching stats. So like, just as an example, it might be like strikeouts, thirty batters or something. So this play and predict, I really enjoyed because it's perfect postseason predictions winner. Unfortunately, I did not get that, but I missed the prediction ones of like predict who wins the home run derby and get like a home run derby pack.